Hey everybody, in today's topic I'm going to show you how we can add images to a web page using HTML. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright everybody, here's how to add an image to a web page. But you'll need an image to work with. I have a picture of a dog. I'll add that to my website folder. Next to my index file, I have a picture of a dog. To add an image, we'll use a self-closing image tag, then set the source equal to be the name of your image, including the extension. Mine is dog, and this is a PNG file. So this picture is fairly large. You can change the dimensions with the height or width attributes. I'll set the height to be 200, 200 pixels. Now the width will adjust automatically. However, you could change that too if you wanted. If I need this image to be a perfect square, I will also set the width to be 200. However, this does compress the image. Depending on the dimensions of your original picture, you may need to change the height and or width. I'll set the height to be 200 though. Then keep the width the same. It'll adjust automatically. Now for some reason, if your image isn't displaying, let's say that I get the file extension wrong. I'll say that this is a JPEG. Well, the image won't display. You can add alternative text with the alt attribute. The alternative text, you could say anything. This is a picture of a dog. If this image doesn't display, you at least display the alternative text. Now the nice thing about the alt attribute is that if somebody is visually impaired and they're using a screen reader, the screen reader will read this alt description. Just to test my screen reader, I'm going to add some text before and after this image as well. Let's add an h1 header tag. This is a cute dog. Then I'll add some text after. I'll use an h3 header tag. Woof woof. I'll use my screen reader. This is an extension on Chrome you can download. My first website. This is a cute dog. This is a picture of a dog. Woof woof. The screen reader read the alternative text for this image. So it is good practice, if you include an image, to write a brief description of the image. Another cool thing you can do with images is that you can turn them into hyperlinks. I will surround our image element with a pair of A tags, A meaning anchor. Then I will set the href attribute equal to a URL. I'll find the Wikipedia page for dogs. Alright, I'll copy this URL, then I will set the href attribute to be this URL. When I click on this image, it takes me to the Wikipedia page for dogs. So yeah, you can turn an image into a hyperlink. Another cool thing you can do too is that you can include GIFs in your web page. This is my GIF that I'll include. I'll add that to my website folder. I'll include a self-closing image tag set the source equal to be the name of my image. Then be sure to get the file extension right. This is a GIF. I'll set the height attribute to be maybe 200 as well. Height equals 200. Then I'll add some alternative text. Alt attribute will be smiling dog GIF. Now with a website, you may have all of your images within a separate folder, like this. I'll go to New, Folder, I'll create a folder named Images, then I will move my images to the Images folder. So my images are no longer being displayed. We have our alternative text. This is a picture of a dog, and smiling dog gif. With your source attribute, we're using a relative file path. We need to navigate to the Images folder, then find the appropriate image files. I'm going to precede these images with the name of the folder. They are found within the images folder. You may also need another forward slash. For me, either work. Let's move on to an exercise. In the last few videos, we were working on a web page for song lyrics. Let's include some album art. For my song that I picked, I have a picture of the original album art that this song is found from. I will move that to my website folder. 
Then I will move it to the images folder within my website folder. I need a self-closing image tag set the source equal to B. We need to navigate to the images folder. I will list that first. Images slash the name of the file. For me, it's album cover dot JPEG. Then I'll change the dimensions. I will set the height equal to be 200. I'll add some alternative text. Alt equals album art cover. Then a line break. Maybe two. Then I'll turn this into a hyperlink as well. I will surround our image with a pair of A tags. I will set the href attribute to be the original YouTube video where you can find this song. So href equals the YouTube video that I linked before. So this should take me to YouTube. There we are. All right, everybody. Well, that's how to include an image on a web page using HTML.